Hello viewers, welcome to today's video. Today we'll see how you can create your own plugins in Theotown in the easiest and the best way even with your phone. So let's get started. So these are the following steps you have to follow to make a working and good plugin. So let's begin with more details about these. Well drawing a plugin is really hard and more when you're not an artist. But luckily we have AI at this time which can help us. You can ask any popular AI chatbots to generate image a plugin just type, isometric view of a square building with a white background and you're all done. Like I generated this plugin using ChatGPT but if you want some free options then you can go with Google Gemini. Aha! So well next part is how to resize the plugin. It is important to resize the plugin according to game otherwise it'll cover the whole screen in the game which won't look good. For this you can go this official website from the developers where you can get templates for various sizes and download them for free, resize your plugins according these templates and apply them in the game. You have to simply open official plugin creator website of the game and start. Don't do anything with manifest, continue with plugin name, description and your name as author. Then scroll down and add plugin by choosing the category you want. Then add the frames and fill all the details. Below just select the attributes for your building you want, every attribute has a description under it by which you can understand it. Now fill all the details in these sections. You have to fill the width of the plugin in the earlier section, it'll be according to the template of the plugin which we talked earlier. After filling the details just export the plugin in zip form and you've done this step also. Wow! Now just rename your plugin so you can find it. Open file manager and move this file to Android. Then data. Then info.flowersoft folder. Then file and then plugin. Now plugin has been applied to the game. While exporting the plugin it is recommended to export as zip file since since it is easy to share, edit and to check if there's any malware or virus in it or not. <laughs> <laughs> 